Hey guys, welcome to the secret history living in your aquarium. We are today we are at Deception Pass, Washington, and this is a really really incredibly beautiful place. It's a really unique place. And my wife and I are here hiking. We're out on the island called Pass Island. And out here there is stone formation that is really similar to what you'd find in Japan. So some of the Siryu stone or elephant skin stone, thousand uh, layer stone, stuff like that is found out here as well as some incredible uh, little mushrooms, moss, and lichen that almost looks like an aquascape. So I wanted to show you guys this as maybe some inspiration. So we also have, uh, you know, wild rose hips and... Uh, uh, coastal roses, Oregon grape, uh, these mushrooms that need salt water uh, mist every night or they won't grow and they need to be about 45 degrees. So it's very specific uh, traits they need. And then you've got the uh, madrona trees that curl like a beautiful bonsai. Uh, that's It's just really cool. So let's hike up this cliff a bit. There's all these sedums and succulents and interesting moss that, I mean, you can be a mile away and these don't grow because they don't get that salt water <coughs> spray. And here we've got uh, some of these really interesting little fungi too in here. But the ferns and moss and lichen, you know, you can see what would take over the landscape first essentially and you can see the iron oxide in some of the stone it's very early stone uh let's climb up the hill a little bit if we can pardon the filming getting a little bit uh gorilla but that's how we're gonna have to do it to get up all right so then if we get up here should have a view of mountains again and the water <clears throat> some scotch broom and lamb's ear and yet again more madrona trees pine trees fir trees but it's just a beautiful scenery and again the inspiration for an aquascape is endless here learning how rocks lay down in layers sheaths and patterns learning how the cleavage works that's man-made you can see the chisel marks but you can tell different things about the landscape and uh which way is south obviously <laughs> the prevailing winds are all these things are things that if you're going to emulate in your aquascape you have areas like that trap the wind and moisture. Even in this microclimate, you see you've got this little patch here that's done that. You've got moss that's exposed that, that grows thicker in tufts along the open edge of where the wind comes whipping through here. You can see the trees are all leaning this way. They're all going this way. The wind all, usually comes that way, coming through this pass, deception pass again. And the rocks, yet again, you see the ferns holding on to any area. You can see where it builds up debris, then lichen, then moss, then liverworts and sedums. And then soon you get the ferns. And this is a great way to plant your tanks, too. I mean, look at, it may look like a simple rocky crag, but we've got one kind of moss another kind of moss right next to it, another kind right here, yet another orangish kind here, another kind here, a sedum of some sort here, a liverwort over here, ferns here, and we've got another, I don't know if it's just expressing differently with the red exposed, and then like a dandelion, so you've got these layers of it and then you've kind of got accents just like we would do in the hobby 
of these berry bushes and things like that that come into the scene. So <laughs> you can see how things would have weathered and where water piles up and rain and wind and even just bits of dust over the millennia chipping away at things and how it makes miniature versions of the big mountains we see too. It's really, really a beautiful environment. I mean, look at this lichen here. It's incredible. Native Americans as well as the native Celts, more another species here, uh, would ferment it with urine and other things, alcohol too, and they'd create dyes, purple dyes. Here we've got the madrona tree, beautiful, much like the manzanita. And we've got the Oregon grape starting as we've got real soil that's accumulated from the moss and things. <coughs> Thistle and more fern. It's not sword fern, it's this little fern. But then you get into the sword ferns and other other critters and just kind of seeing how it all evolves both geologically I mean there's all these plants that are different wild strawberries more little mycenae mushrooms very teeny new moss at the top here so all of these little micro environments we've got another mushroom up here bigger variety have grown and when you're putting together an aquascape or you're putting together a hardscape even these are things to think about is these are all processes they take time and you can actually tell here which way the glaciers moved, which way they came and scoured everything here. They cut this pass through a mountain, essentially, through, you know, a 700 foot mountain. We've got these bizarre little fungi and uh, lichen again all over. Just new ones all over the place. New mushrooms, those little orange guys here with the lichen and the moss. And then the, the berries. And then you can see, look at this, this calcite deposit here that's getting eroded quickly. That's why you don't see much of it. But on the exposed leading edge of a face, you'll see it and it breaks off, cleaves off the easiest there. So they're re reconfiguring uh, things and working on this bridge and everything right now but this is an incredible spot if you ever come to visit redfish bluefish this is the entrance to the island woodby island in washington state jason's shop and uh it's just a really magical and incredible place uh if you're afraid of heights you probably don't want to get out and walk the bridge though it's a it's a long way down and when the when the uh, tide gets going out it cuts through here at over 20 knots sometimes so and there's my wife all right guys have a merry christmas take care of yourselves have fun scaping and planning your tanks maybe you got some new stuff but uh i hope this is a little bit of food for thought you can see how things hold on and even on the edge flourish really cool